welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be mixing it up with ABS and PETG. So, uh, actually very interesting. I think we might have found a semi-winner. Uh, temperature, though, does play a big role in this. Now, I started out high at 240, and this is what I got. And, uh, yeah, not too pretty. But I was encouraged, actually, by the way this started out. So what I did is I dropped the temperature down to 230. I dropped it 10 degrees. And I got something that was semi-acceptable. Now, one of the things I could probably do better by adjusting the temperature a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the time lapse I'm going to run in the corner. Because I'll run both of these as time lapses together. However... Um, Part of the globbing on this was the fact, fact that I think the PETG was printing a little bit cold, maybe, uh, because this PETG I think is rated between 230 and two, yeah, 230 and 260, something like that. Um, but I noticed it balling up at the end of the uh, at the at the end of the hot end, and so I think that caused a little bit of distortion. But outside of that, it did not come out too bad. Uh, now there's some a little bit of squiggles, and again, I, I could probably tune this. And the other thing is probably by adjusting the layer fan, uh, improving retraction a little bit, uh, changing some of the speeds, and also messing with the temperatures, this might actually be a viable combination. Why would you want to mix PETG and ABS? I'm really not sure, to be honest with you. However, it, just looking at the color, and if you look at it in the um, uh, the magnified images of this, the interesting piece about this is it does seem to actually mix fairly well. Um, you know, because a lot of, um, uh, you know, like when we did the, the PETG and the TPU, uh, you could see it was PETG, TPU, PETG, TPU. It was more so chained together, where this actually appears to be a little bit more mixed. Um, so I was actually encouraged by this, and, and you can kind of see the, uh, I left the brims on it, um, and so you can kind of see how it comes together. So this one is actually encouraging. Uh, what, what would you guys use a, an ABS PETG mix for? What would make sense out of it? I'd like to hear your comments below. Let me know, uh, because maybe we'll do some more testing. One of the things I am doing is I am going to set up um, a, you know, a stress Kind of test system for this a pneumatic one i've ordered the parts it should be here in a couple weeks coming from slow boat on china uh, obviously uh you know maybe what i'll do is is once i get that in get that all set up i'll do a build project on that uh maybe we'll test it out and see is this stronger than just the, the native materials together and that's one of the things i really kind of want to do you know right now i'm just having a little bit of fun seeing hey what happens when you mix these things together uh, just to kind of rule out, you know, some of the more obvious pieces, you know, for example, like the inability of ABS and TPU to mix. But then what I want to do is, on some of the better ones, and I would classify this as a better one, possibly experiment as to, d does this make it stronger or weaker? Is the combination better or worse? Um, and that kind of stuff. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting, and if you ever wondered what happens when you combine... Um, ABS and, and PETG together, this is what happens. So, anyways, as I drop this on the table, give it a big thumbs up if you found this interesting. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified of new videos when I put these out. Also, swag shops up in the corner, and we'll see you again where we mix some other plastic. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.